I don't really do a lot of talking videos, but you know, today I felt like doing something different. So we, me and Zach made some vegan donuts because, well, and also allergy friendly donuts. And today you're going to need a quarter of a cup of margarine. We just used some olive oil one, which you can see here. And then half a cup of soy milk. We used some chocolate soy milk because we just wanted to <laughs> spice things up with a little bit of flavor. <laughs> um, it probably didn't really make much of a difference as you can see there. Two tablespoons of sunflower oil, which I have put in here. You're also going to need two cups of flour. Any flour doesn't really matter, but the recipe on the website says plain flour, but I'm pretty sure our flour's the same. <laughs> I obviously wasn't that careful. It also says one quarter of a cup of um, caster sugar, but I didn't have a quarter cup, so I just sort of used the full cup. And then one teaspoon of baking powder, and we just add a little bit of salt. And then we just stirred it all mixed it all together and then the recipe says to make a well in all the powders and put all of our melted and combined liquids into the well and then stir it stir and stir and stir and stir and you just keep stirring until it combines into a doughy texture and after that you just grab out any kind of tray or whatever and roll up your dough into however big you want it to be. This is our tester one, which we rolled into a ball but didn't really flatten. We also, if you can, if you like, you can put in, you can stick your finger in and make little holes in the donuts. We also tried putting them in the pan and then we burnt them the first time and make, to make them flatter because the first one turned out as a big chunky ball that didn't look so great. And then as our toppings we just melted some chocolate and dipped it in, which looked pretty good actually. <laughs> and it was uh, quite professional looking and then we put some sprinkles on some other ones like that. You can choose what sprinkles. And then for some different kinds of, you don't want chocolate, you can put some jam on it. And as another option you can put some icing sugar on it. Which kind of spiced it up a little bit but didn't really make a difference. And that's the finished look. You can do whatever toppings you feel comfortable with, whichever ones you like. Doesn't really matter. We just chose these ones because they were easy and you know generally taste really good. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!